I think everybody can understand the concept of what is maximum material condition and minimum material condition. Next thing is how can we apply this practically. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Last two video we are discussing geometrical dimension and tolerance. So this video we are going to discuss remaining topic. So remaining topics are MMC and LMC that is part of a modifiers and bonus tolerance. So remaining topics are primary datum, secondary datum and tertiary datum. So in this video we are going to discuss about the modifiers. So in this video we are going to discuss modifiers. In modifiers there are main two topics will come MMC and LMC and bonus tolerance. There are seven modifiers are there. First one is maximum material condition, least material condition, projected tolerance on free state variation, tangent plane and statistical tolerance and between. Now we can discuss MMC and LMC. In material condition, in material condition there are three topics are there. First is regardless of feature size. The abbreviation is RFS and maximum material condition MMC and least material condition LMC. Let us try to understand what is the meaning of MMC and LMC. For, uh, for that consider a component which is having a to tolerance of 5.5 to 6. In this for this component the LMC condition is 5.5 and MMC condition is 6. Next we can consider a shaft. This shaft is having a tolerance of 10 plus or minus 0.5. So LMC condition of the shaft is 9.5 and M maximum material condition of the shaft is 10.5 mm. Next we can consider a inner diameter. The given tolerance dimension is 10 plus or minus 0.5. So the maximum material condition of this ID is 9.5 and minimum material condition of this ID is 10.5. We are considering the shaft it is completely ultra. I think everybody can understand the concept of what is maximum material condition and minimum material condition. Next thing is how can we apply this practically. Let us consider one example. Consider a component which is having a tolerance of 5.5 to 6 and GDNT tolerance that is flatness tolerance is mentioned as O5. For this component the minimum material condition that is least material condition is 5.5 and maximum material condition is 6. Now consider the component after manufacturing the component uh, the measured value is 5.6 that is the measured value is the actual value is 5.6. Now we can find the bonus tolerance here bonus tolerance is MMC minus actual size. The MMC of this component is 6 and the measured value is 5.6. So now the value is 0.4. This 0.4 is called as bonus tolerance. Now this bonus tolerance we have to add with along with the, the given uh, GDNT tolerance. Here given GDNT tolerance is 05. Now our given GDNT tolerance is 0.54. That is we are modifying it. We can consider another example. The component which is measuring a uh, dimension of 5.58. That is uh, measured value. So now our uh, bonus tolerance is MMC minus actual size. That is 6 minus 5.8 now the bon bonus tolerance here is 0.2 now we have to add along with our given GDNT tolerance that is 05 plus 0.25 here in this condition our uh, GDNT tolerance is uh, 0.25 so we are here we are modifying our given GDNT tolerance by using bonus tolerance this is how we are using practically now we can consider more examples consider a component 5.5 to 6 here drawing drawing tolerance is 5.5 to 6 mm so consider that i have produced five, six components which is having a different uh, thickness here first one is 6 and another one is 5.9 and 5.8 etc here mmc condition is 6 and uh, now if you are calculating bonus tolerance you can see that bonus tolerance is varying as per the actual uh, size of the component and this bonus tolerance here we are adding with we are adding with the given geometrical tolerance again the geometrical tolerance is modified you can the last column you can see that geometrical tolerance also varying as per the actual feature size now we can consider lmc condition of the component 
so for that one we can consider the same example that we considered for mmc condition here the given to drawing tolerance is 5.5 to 6 this means that lmc condition of this component is 5.5 and maximum material condition is 6 suppose the component actual size is 5.9 that is uh, produced part is measuring 5.9 now the bonus tolerance is actual size minus lmc here actual size is 5.9 minus lmc condition is 5.5 now the bonus tolerance measured is 0.4 this bonus tolerance we have to add with the given geometrical tolerance so the given the geometrical tolerance is modified as 0.45 and we can consider another example here actual size is 5.8 that is uh, produced component is measuring 5.8 now the bonus tolerance is actual size minus lmc so here actual size is 5.8 and a least material condition is 5.5 now the bonus tolerance calculated is 0.3 now this bonus tolerance we have to add to the given geometrical tolerance here given geometrical tolerance is 0.05 and uh, LMC is uh, bonus sorry bonus tolerance is 0 0.3 now the geometrical tolerance is modified as 0 0.35 by doing so we can uh, we can eliminate we can eliminate the rejection of the part now we can consider more example here last column you can see that the geometrical tolerance is modified as per the actual feature size By modifying geometrical tolerance by using uh, bonus tolerance, we can avoid rejections. And the importance of the LMC and the MMC is we should know the two concepts, allowance and clearance. Allowance is it is the intentional difference between maximum limit of the mating part. That is, allowance of the shaft is MMC of the hole minus MMC of the shaft. And clearance is maximum intended difference between the mating parts. That is, clearance is equal to LMC of the hole minus LMC of the shaft. Now we completed the topic up to modifiers. So remaining topics are primary datum, secondary datum and tertiary datum. Anyway the video is going to be very lengthy so I will continue this with the next video. So if you like my video please subscribe and support.